Thank you to the Department of Sanitation and Constituents for participating in the 91st Street Marine Transfer Station Community Advisory Group, known as the CAG, as well as two strong leaders in our community, uh, Dara Hunt and Jill Eisner. Uh, uh, trash is a... Uh, the cost of trash is going up and we're literally going to be spending more dollars on trash and we're literally putting our budget dollars into the trash. Uh, it's going from $63.39 a ton and it's doubled to $129.81 a ton according to a Friday report of the Independent Budget Office. So is the Independent Budget Office accurate? Is that report true? Uh, their numbers are consistently true with what we anticipated and what we have anticipated for the last few years of what the cost would be for implementation of the solid waste management and plan. And so they're indicating that we've gone from $300 million and pretty steady in 2014 and you're planning to go up to $420 million in 2021. So I guess the first question is how much could we save by continuing to send garbage trucks that pick up any waste in Manhattan by Department of Sanitation and continuing to send them all to New Jersey? And as we've discussed, that's not how the solid waste management plan works. Um, the solid waste management plan is a global plan to make sure that we are not overburdening uh, communities with other people's waste and I know you're going to say I know Ash you're going to say I know you're going to say that it's going to Jersey but it would be even cheaper if it went to the Bronx um, I could at least save the easy pass uh, uh, amount of money I, I don't um, advocate but, for the Bronx but right now is any community in Manhattan sorry is any community in New York City being burdened with waste from Manhattan or is it all going to New Jersey and as I'm going to continue with my answer to the previous question uh, We've had this conversation many times, and as I think the report rightly cites at the end of it, yes, the cost of this is going up. We have known that the cost was going to go up for a very long time. Um, one of the things and the reasons why it's been so stable is actually because we have been making strides in terms of reducing the amount of waste the city is producing. Um, so while the cost per ton had been going up, we actually been paying about the same because we've been producing less. So in addition, what they end that report on is that it actually is achieving the goals that the solid waste management was designed to achieve, which is to reduce truck traffic and to reduce emissions uh, in the city of New York and to make sure that over the long haul, I think this is one of the things folks really forget is that uh, at a certain point in the late 90s, the spot markets on waste disposal, particularly in Pennsylvania, were all over the place. And I wouldn't say that uh, we've had an easy time even with trying to get long-term contracts uh, for the waste coming out of the marine transfer stations. You've done it, like We've had to do uh, the contract for some of those transfer stations multiple times because of challenges from other local communities outside of New York to New York City's waste. Most recently at Seneca Meadows in Seneca Falls in upstate New York. I'm slightly um, short so on time. I have to, I am in negative time to ask a, uh, questions about homelessness next door. So at $129.81 per ton, uh, if we hit zero waste or we reduce massively, uh, do our costs go, go down or are we locked into a 20 uh, year contract where we pay whether or not we use uh, their facilities. There's a, there's a, there's both a fixed and variable component on all of those contracts and so we actually will pay less if we reduce our waste. Uh, if you can forward those numbers and so East 91st Street MTS, when is it slated to open? Uh, I believe we are slated to open at uh, the end of 2018 and then the new ramp should be done at the end of 2022 according okay. to DDC's most recent schedule. Okay, so um, according to a, a letter we have from the administration uh, the dated September 28th, 2015, it was promised that the ramp would be completed within 54 months but no longer than 66 months. So uh, that's uh, March 2021. So if we can make sure that the uh, mayor is keeping his word on that uh, and if not, I think uh, making sure that the amount of time that we're operating a marine transfer station through uh, w without a safer ramp is important. Uh, can we have a commitment to follow the original letter from 2015? Oh, no, I'm, I am 
I'm aware that that was DDC's best estimate of how fast the construction would go, and I know that they have been moving aggressively on that project with AECOM as the designer. Um, so I, I am hopeful that they will get that done as quickly as possible, but I don't know what challenges they're having in terms of meeting the construction schedule. Okay, I will follow up with additional questions offline. I apologize for, for the brevity. Thank you.